Hello, I'm Cal LaDuke, and I'm here to show you four ways to key in Maya. First, I'm going to set up my scene. I'm going to hold down the space bar and left click and ask for a right view. I'm just going to lower this down a little bit. And I'm just going to use a, uh, a little bit of a bouncing ball to demonstrate how to set some keys. So I'll start off by making a polygon primitives cube. Check the option box and 111 is fine. Hit create. Then I'm just going to be hitting R for scaling. I'll just scale it to the side, middle mouse, drag that. W for translate, push it down just a little bit below origin. And then I'm going to create the, the ball. And that will be under create, polygon primitives, a sphere. And uh, 8 by 8 is fine. Hit Create. So now it's low resolution. I'm going to hit number 3 and that'll change it to uh, a higher display resolution. So now it's smooth. So I'm going to move it up by grabbing it in the center here into this top left corner and I'm just going to hit S. I'm going to move it over a little before I key it. Check that I'm on frame 0. I still set a key over in the channel box on the translations, rotations, scale. Everything that is available for it to key, it keyed. I'm also going to go into the channel box and uh, change it to ball. I don't like just leaving the default names and hit enter. Now when I select the sphere, I can go down to my timeline and either left mouse button drag or just click over to frame let's say eight eight frames and go to my next key position and I'll drag this down put it on the you know ground plane here that's why I like using a cube because I can see the ground from the side view now I'm going to go into my channel box and left mouse click on translate X Y and Z and then right click and tell it to key my selected and you'll see this red tick on frame 8 so from 0 frame 0 to frame 8 I have two keys now I'll go and click over on uh, frame 16 turn on my move tool you can either click on the move tool in your uh, toolbox on the far left or just hit W again for the move tool I'm going to move this up and this time I'm going to use the hotkey combination of shift plus W. W was my move tool, so shift plus W will set a key on just my translations. So I can go through and check that again by left mouse dragging through the timeline called scrubbing. It brings it down to frame 8 and then back up to frame 16. The final one is going to this right corner and I'm going to select the, the auto keyframe toggle button. Turn that on. Now when I go to a new frame, I'm going to grab 16 and drag that over to frame 24. And when I move the object, it'll set a key there. That's what the auto keyframe button does, is every time you move your control, in this instance it's a character, a, a mesh, it's going to be setting a key. Just check that I actually have proper number of keys. So first key, second key, third key, and fourth key. And just hit play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Four ways to key in Maya. Thanks for joining me.